the puzzle yeah. poems, uh, it's hard to tell sometimes how literally to take them. That's kind of like the first part of the puzzle segment, is how literally do I take this puzzle. The next one, oh, I'm so glad I am watching and not playing. Uh, the, the next major puzzle is such a pain in the ass, oh my god. And or completely simple if you see it the right way the first time. Well, I guess that's true well, of many yes. puzzles, uh, right? But you can you can sort of see how to solve it, but then you still have to do a little bit of work to solve it. But if you're not sure how to solve it, then you're playing blind a little. Because there there are multiple ways to interpret the clue that make perfect sense. Uh, yeah, go on. And it doesn't easily keep track of what you've already tried. So I always have like a notebook. Sorry, I'm just rocking out to the early Nine Inch Nails here. This wasn't meant to last. This is full right now. So how is your Screamo career coming? <laughs> three of them. I've never seen three of them at once. That must be randomized. Yeah, I mean, they, they set off the radio. They're, they're there more or less to keep you on your toes. Um, but also is sort of a, a breather. Like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have to shoot these things. So, yeah, I, uh... See, this is my problem with this game, is that, like... And, and games of this ilk, is that I, all the darkness and everything is meant to be atmospheric and I just get like claustrophobic and annoyed really easily. I'm just like, oh my god I can't tell where to go next. I don't know how many bullets I have. I can't tell what my health is. This isn't immersive. It's just driving me yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, that's definitely a your mileage may vary kind of uh, deal. Uh, but it, it does link in with something that, that I, I teach in my, my hot music. My uh <laughs> Every now and then it just cuts out. I, uh, in my haunt training, um, it is it is a point, like what you said, it is a point I make that annoyed equals not scared. If you get them annoyed yeah. or bored, then you have lost them. And you're going to have to work hard to earn them back. So like some people, that they get a good scare reaction. Some of our actors, they get, they get a good scare off someone. You know, someone screams and, and they're all... So then they hound them and pester them over and over and over again, trying to get that same reaction over and over and over again. And they just become really annoying. And sometimes, like, if particularly if they're young and, and like, hyper-enthusiastic but clueless, you almost have to physically pull them back. <laughs> Stop skin. Oh, here's the scare. I remember this, this scare. <laughs> Literal cat scare. I love it. I, I, it's one of my favorite scares in the whole series. Uh, with that ending. That ending is uh, crucial to make it stand out in my mind. Right. And that's actually not the end of that. Uh, uh, there will be a callback to that scare uh, that I, I think makes it really divine. Really, really clever and interesting and fun and scary and all that. I like the little, obviously not an actual cat right. sound effect right. that they have. Meow. Well, this, this game being what it is and being somewhat nightmare based, you can, in in canon, you know, hand wave away any bad effect. Or <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a real cat noise because it was all a nightmare. Uh, you probably didn't see the hand gesture that went with that at all, did you? <laughs> it's a little bit like these no. aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> right, right. I, I, yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, oh, God. Uh, what's his yeah. name? Criswell from Plan 9 from Outer oh, Space? I haven't watched that in ages. keep waiting for this song to kick in. Um, 
there are more songy parts to the, the soundtrack. I don't think we're gonna get anything as good as the song from <laughs> Deadly Premonition. But... Okay, so we're like on wall four at this point, I think. Like I'm, I'm so lost. We the, just keep going through doors. Uh, yeah, the, the the terrain of the school is kind of samey, and it's easy to not get lost exactly, but just sort of forget what side of the building you you've tried. And uh, fortunately, the map marks the doors that are locked, um, so you can sort of keep track of where you've been by that. As long as you keep trying the doors. I wonder what could go here. I am very nice. Sound like Forrest Gump. <laughs> bam, bam, bam! You know, I think when this All first right. came out, it didn't even register as music. It just, like noise sound effects and of course I had I think the, the noise movement existed but I was unaware of it but the, the fact that this was done <laughs> by a music composer uh, surprised me when I first learned it you're not like a big Mitsureb um, fan or whatever huh not not really okay I, basically I got out of that darkness imprisoning me all that I see uh, would you kindly is written in blood on this book. So these are clues to the next puzzle. There's a little. I I can reference other video games. I haven't <laughs> just seen the ones that we do. Got some good ones. Well, I think <laughs> I mean, they're also much hated. So. despise it. I liked it. Yeah. Did that just tell us it was unlocked before we went in? Like, come on, game. You don't need to fucking... Uh, I think if door. he had tried it before that point, it would have been locked. And this room wasn't available until he had put the gold sign uh. in. So this is the puzzle I hate. So, I mean, you can try Helpers out of voice. First view, three degree pelican. Yes. P D R S. Oh, it's white birds is it and pelican. Is it something like white birds and black birds color related? And the maybe? piano. So that gives you the start of where we're going. Let's see right. if it gets. It. Some of the yeah, keys don't work, and some do. So you got to figure out which ones work, and then you've got to play the ones that are silent in the right order, according to the poem. And he got it the first try, and I'll bet he had that written down somewhere. I, I really don't think he solved it. Well, sure. I mean, uh, generally a long play is, is played, you know, already knowing I mean, how I to know do how it. to do that, and I've solved it a number of times, and I have to fight for it every single time I play it. Because, by God, my pride will not let me to look it up. I know how to solve it, because I've done it three times. Retaining the solution, that's another question. Or even remembering whether I'm supposed to do the uh, the, the silent keys or the, the soundy keys. Um, and there's a little ambiguity to the, the puzzle, because uh, you don't know where to start. So when you go, yeah, the crow is to the right of the pelican, you gotta do a little kind of logic puzzling stuff to figure out where each piece is. Yeah, I don't. I I still don't get it. That's okay. I don't think it will detract from your quality of life. All right. Well, luckily though, we can put that clock face in here and get a magic present. Maybe it's this candy. This is one of my favorite moments. In the mood for candy. Walking into the tower. Nope, I take that back. Not quite yet. Yeah, I'm fucking well. Yeah, uh, now he's gonna do what the uh, the book in the front said about darkness, choking, heat, smoke, stuff. Which 
darkness imprisoning me, all that I see, absolute Doesn't horror. sound right. A boiler room! Hmm, that might be related to that. Right. Okay, okay. now throw Kruger in. There's another puzzle down the line that I always do by trial and error that I bet he'll do it right the first time. I mean, it's not a difficult puzzle to solve by, by brain power, but it's only a little longer to solve it by trial and error. <laughs> so I, t I tend to go kind of slow and lazy instead yeah. of quick and smart. Yeah, I think this game would engender yeah, I mean, that I, in me. I, I know I'm capable of puzzling out this this problem. I, I do well on logic tests and stuff. When I have to, but I'd rather not have to. So we got inside the tower so and then went is... down. That's that's usually not what you do in a tower. To be oh, look, air, hell uh, drinks galore. Not an air raid uh, shelter, but a bomb shelter. Follow shelter. Ball and back up, up again. Shelter. On the other side. Coming out. Right where you started. Where am I? I don't I don't fucking know, dude. It's the exact same place. Come on, just Harry were. Mason. Have I been here before? With a few changed textures. That's the seal of Samael, but you don't know that yet. Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. Maybe I wasn't here before. I know someone named Samael. His, his mother liked right. the name Sam, but didn't like the mule on the end if you call it Samuel, so she called him Samael. I think she probably says Samael, or she probably doesn't say Samael like I do. But that happens to be a, <laughs> not a character, but a, I guess a presence in the game, so Samael. Mm. Yeah, I've got a friend well, named yeah. Baal, the Lord of Murder. I think we all have two or three of those. I keep giving my children to him. It's like... It's like Britney. Now, you just can't get away from that especially name now. If I get too close, it could be sucked in. Oh, God. Maybe I won't do that, because... I'm more than five years old. I'm Cheryl, you and the fan? Fret boy. Cheryl... Cheryl doesn't seem to be in the fan. I'm Harry Mason. One thing Mason. I like about the, the design of Silent Hill is the floor in this section. It's it's an open grate, or at least it's meant to appear to be. Um, and just think, if you're if you're in a place you're unsure of, where the building itself looks like it's falling apart, how unsettling the that kind of a floor could be. Yeah, I mean, you gotta do some work on your own there to <laughs> arrive to that, but all right. Of course they were. Those hanging thing. chains? <laughs> all right. My, my best friend's uncle always said that it's not horror until you see hanging well, chains. Well, uh... Hanging chains or mm. uh, draped plastic. At uh, Builder's Blessing. Yeah. You get both of those in a row, yep. and it's scary. I think it would be neat to do like a, a revival of The Sound of Music in a set that's covered with uh, sheets of plastic and hanging chains. <laughs> Just played completely straight. No mention of the, uh, the set design. No, no variation in the music. <laughs> I mean, I have to assume the sound of music is, is pretty upsetting as it is, right? I mean, like, it's a movie all about yeah, Nazis. Yeah, but the Nazis isn't it? are sort of played down. Kinda. They're like Hogan's more heroes, a, Nazis. They're more of an annoyance. I mean, if you're actually paying attention, yeah, the Nazis are fully Nazis, but the, the, the focus is let's keep the kids happy and pretend nothing's going bad and run! 
<laughs> and also the elder daughter falls in love with a Nazi boy. I think. They are, they, they, they yeah. always think that they can uh, save him. I'm blonde and white. Change I can, them. I can reach out to him. Yeah. It's okay, some of my best friends are blonde and white. Hell, I have blonde and white people in my family. They're not allowed at Thanksgiving, but... I mean, one has to draw the line, so... Right. I mean, it's sure. just well, for you propriet know, grew up proprietary, in proprietary sake. And, and she, or, you know, we don't want to upset her. And yeah. She, she would cut us out of the way. Yeah. yeah. She'll be dead soon, and so things will be easier then. And... He hasn't used a single health drink or, or, or kit. No, he he, he just drank I, a I health potion. I swear, I zoned in ago. and out like a... Uh, yeah. You just, you just got so into your yes, whole reverse it. racism joke that... I can't be witty and pay attention at the same time. <laughs> Some would say I have been neither my entire life, so... Man, there are a lot yeah. of these little rabid sloths. I don't want you to get too comfortable. This room was pointless. There's no... Oh, They're bad hosts. An ampule. I've never heard that word out loud. I'm not entirely sure how to say it. Probably ampule. Pretty... Well, yeah, ampule am, is ampule, what... Ampule, yeah. I mean, I say I haven't heard it out loud. I'm lying. I've heard ampule, but it's spelled P-O-U-L-E, which makes P-U-L unlikely, doesn't it? Uh, okay. I not in my head. All right, we got a we got a key that looks exactly Isn't like the door. That seems goes? to work. Yeah. Well, that's on. Oh, sorry. Occupado. It's unsatisfying. Apparently. Officially, it is pronounced ampule or ampule. Great. Thanks. I want a right and a wrong, damn it! This is like how you're supposed to pronounce F O R T E fort. Like, forte is an alternate pronunciation, and it's like, ah, oh, fuck you, Merriam Webster. I'm gonna go with the thing that everybody uh, ever um, always says. English is notorious for borrowing French and then fucking it up. Also, did you know that the curved swords uh, that are popular with the kids these and days sabre, are scimitars, not, not scimitars? I, I heard it for the first time today. I, I haven't verified it. But it was said with some confidence by a Brit, and you know how Brits are. They don't no. give a shit. <laughs> also, also yeah. timbre. Yeah, and that timber. really confuses me. Um, it does help differentiate it from yeah. timber, um, I suppose. Uh, yeah, but then the, why not um, spell it like timbre? Don't spell it like timbre. T i m b r e. Right? Oh, I see. But, yeah, no, but like thing. with an A. Uh, one word I've just simply stopped using. One, because it hardly ever comes up anyway, uh, since I stopped playing with B. But, uh, two, because the proper pronunciation is the most confusing way to pronounce it. And that's C-A-C-H-E. It's just cash. So, you might say, I pick up my cash. Right. You know, I needed some money, so I went and I and I I went to my cash. Uh, cachet is another word, and cash is just wrong, though it would be the clearest. So I just don't say it. I don't say dais anymore either, but there's no reason. It's funny when you. 
I always heard dais in my head, but then I heard lots of different yeah. people pronouncing it dais. So. I'm not fussed about it. Um, but D and D definitely increased my vocabulary. Hello. Oh yeah, this seems wise. Let's just pick this up. Harry Mason, Where what are you thinking? Us? Cheryl, is that you? Yes, it is. Daddy. Well, this oh, sounds it like Cheryl. Or is it Cheryl? Daddy, where are you? Cheryl. That, that doesn't help you or change your quest <laughs> at all. That was color. That was. That's all that was. Yeah. You know what I hate? Color. Right. Well, it is a bit desaturated. 